does your dog bark, lunge, kind of go bananas when he sees other dogs or skateboarders or squirrels out on your walk? Well, stay tuned for my top tips for how to get your reactive dog to be better behaved. Always remember to bring treats with you on your walks. I keep a Ziploc of high value freeze dried treats in my training bag by the door so I never forget. If your dog isn't interested in the treats you have, you'll need something higher value. Try a different flavor of meat or maybe some freeze dried yak cheese. Having treats with you means you'll never miss a training opportunity or an opportunity to reinforce good behavior. And at the very least, you'll be able to distract your dog away from a bad situation. Have your walking equipment work for you, not against you. Walking your reactive dog on any type of collar, whether it's a standard choke or prong, puts a lot of uncomfortable pressure on their neck. This can make reactivity worse, especially if they are beginning to associate being uncomfortable or frustrated with seeing other dogs. Instead, we want to evenly distribute the pressure over their body using a harness. A front clipping, no pull harness like the Freedom Harness, will help you manage pulling and will give you a better walking experience. Avoid back clipping harnesses as these tend to exacerbate pulling problems. A standard six foot leash is best. Never use a retractable leash, especially with a reactive dog. For very strong pullers or very reactive dogs, it may be best to use a head harness like the Gentle Leader. If you believe your dog is aggressive, Teaching your dog to wear a basket muzzle may be the safest option when in public. Using distance is a great strategy with a reactive dog. Giving your dog plenty of space from their triggers will allow them to observe without reacting, which gives you the opportunity to reinforce calm behavior. Using a curving approach rather than straight on will also help your dog. Find the distance at which your dog can be successful. Make use of visual barriers like parked cars when needed for management. If you can consistently do these three things out on your walks, you should see immediate improvement in your dog's behavior. But remember, there's no substitute to getting a professional positive reinforcement trainer out to help you kickstart your reactive dog's training program. So make sure you're following Mutton Ear for lots more training tips and videos to help you with your training. Good job, macaroni.